beautiful ladies. Here we are again. We are on vlog number 100. Yippee! 100. Weird dreams or nightmares. I don't know what you can call them. I guess if they're really, really scary or violent nightmares. Well, what about those dreams that are really, really weird? I don't know if it's um, maybe something that we consumed, that we ate, and uh, either maybe it was too sweet, maybe something sour, something that didn't agree with our body chemistry and we had a weird dream or nightmare. Uh, what about, they say, don't eat uh, a heavy meal and then go to sleep for the night because that prompts nightmares or weird dreams. Okay, I can see that happening. But if you go to bed hungry, you can't really go to sleep because your body needs a nutrients in order to fall asleep. I don't know what the chemistry is about it, but <coughs> pardon me. I had a serious a series of weird dreams uh this night that uh this was recorded. I saw cracks in the surface of the earth, sidewalks and at pavement and I was walking with a group of children and we were leaping over these cracks and some parts of the pavement had big gaps and there was smoke and fire coming out of these gaps um i was calm and i was telling the children be calm it's okay but the weird part about it is that i didn't see a lot of adults and where were the parents of these kids I don't know. And these children were young up until older children. But I kept walking with them. We kept walking and walking and leaping over this hot fire, these cracks and all that. And uh, uh, everything was coming out the ground or uh, was like where the gaps were showing fire and smoke. The buildings and everything else was all intact. Uh, it looked like maybe it was a big earthquake, but we didn't see the parents. Why did I have all these children trailing behind me and on the side of me and I'm guiding them and we're just trying to go somewhere? We never reached the destination because I woke up from the, from the dream or the or the nightmare, but uh, I wasn't afraid. And I was telling the children, don't be afraid. We're going to get to where we're trying to get. But I woke up feeling like I was in a struggle. So, uh, of course, I prayed and I stayed up for a while. I didn't want to go back to sleep. Nope. And have to continue that because it was very, that's unpleasant to see fire coming out of gaps from the earth. And I mean, red, orange flames, like hell or something. Um, but nobody was in pain. We were just walking, trying to go somewhere. That's it. Um, I stayed up. I did not go back to sleep for a while. Uh, I don't know if you experienced uh, weird, weird dreams like that, but I... Remember writing in my vlog, in my, excuse me, my journal, that uh, it wasn't that I ate late or it was something heavy because I, I never eat anything heavy before I go to sleep. So I, I was trying to figure out where did it come from. Well, it has been said that people can cast uh, evil or spirit or spell or vibes your way if they have an article of yours or 
something that came off of your body, a string of hair. Um, I don't know how true that is, but I do recall having a, 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 mm, let's see, I was asleep. Okay. So it had to be a nightmare because in my sleep, I did hear, I did hear, uh, chains coming and I did hear, uh, let's see, sounds of, sounds of heavy walking, like somebody had boots on, where they were coming in my direction. And I found myself trying to breathe. I seemed like all the air in the room was leaving. And, and so I knew to plead the blood of Jesus. And I struggled as I was pleading the blood of Jesus because the consumption of air was leaving so much and the pressure of the sound coming and whatever it was, it was it was really trying to trying to suffocate me. Well, I found out later on as I went to a I was a, a, a school bus driver at that time. Later on, when I went to a site where there was an accident and I was going to pick up my afternoon bunch of children because I was a park out bus driving handicapped. Well, as they they were they were hearing impaired students so i knew a little bit of sign language in order to communicate with, <coughs> with them but i was looking at this accident i pulled my bus over i had a few moments it was a bad accident and i pulled my bus over and i went to go check it out and uh, a lady came to me and she said hey i want to tell you something and i said what and she said, you know, I, I don't know if she was psychic. I, well, I guess she was. So she says, uh, you know something? I know that that uh, you had a disturbing uh, interaction today. And I said, what do you mean? She said, you had some evil coming towards you. And the reason why you had some evil coming towards you is because... Um, uh, your, one of your enemies have something of yours. And I said, lady, you don't know me and I don't know you. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. She said, well, it's true. What you need to do in order to get that spirit out of your place is that you need to put this and this on the kitchen floor and mop it and all this. And I was like, no, uh -uh, I just call on the blood of Jesus. I don't need all that. So I kind of stepped away from her and she went another direction. And, and uh, later on, Yes, later on, I found out that my husband at the time, because we wasn't quite divorced, we were separated, girlfriend had taken some items of mine out of the car. I didn't need the items. I wasn't with him anymore. I lived separately, but I found out she had taken some items because he told me. I'm believing and thinking, of course, maybe perhaps she did take some of that stuff and cast a spell on it. I don't know. Took it to another psychic and had them do some kind of power and sent evil my way. I don't know. But what I do know is true is that in that nightmare I was having, I heard and I felt the pressure. And let me tell you, it was evil. So... Uh, not to scare you, you just plead the blood of Jesus. And what happened later on, I sat and I thought, and I said, well, whatever evil she had thought was coming my way, it didn't conquer me. I was able to get up. I didn't suffocate in my dream, in my sleep. That just let me to know. Well, if he want to dibble and dab, fine with me. But I got the blood of Jesus protecting me. So anyway, hopefully, ladies, you haven't experienced anything like that. And if you did, you know whose name to call because it's power in that name of Jesus. OK, so, yeah, weird dreams or nightmares. Be blessed. I'm praying for you and we'll talk in a couple of days. Bye bye.